Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Um, as you see, we are under the car. Um, our last video had us out at the track doing our licensing, or my licensing, and uh, everything's been uh, sent off to NHRA. They've already seen the uh, the clips and pictures of it, and now they have the uh, official documents being overnighted to them, so we should be good to uh, be racing with our advanced ET this next weekend, so that's gonna be very cool. But what we do need to do is take these big steam rollers and carbon fiber wheelie bars off. We're gonna change some shocks and make a couple other uh, bar adjustments and everything to put the radials back on. So uh, there's a the tires from our Mickey Thompson uh, that we run on there. And so there's a big Bubba tire. And then this is actually a little Bubba tire. And then we're gonna put on the tiny Bubba's right after this, so. Under the car here, Al is moving shock mounts. And as you can see, this is our shock mount, how it's set up for our big tires. We bring the shocks down on here, and then our wheelie bars actually mount right to the inside here. Now, when we go to the radials, these get flipped over and moved up. That's because on a big tire, um, the, the, there's no exact deal on here, but this is going to be a generality when I say this. So. Before you fry me on the internet, this is a generality. On a big tire or a floppy tire type of a deal, you want more of the shock shaft showing so it can compress down on there. On a radial, you want less of the shock shaft showing because it's going to extend, okay? And that's why our shock mounts change on here. So we're gonna go ahead. We have to get the shock mounts flipped around, the other shocks on, uh, the radial shocks on here. Um, and then we have to move around all of our bar mounts where everything, all of our pickup points and everything are here has to change. And then actually the bar lengths from there will also change. On top of it, we're going to then just run a wrench and you know, everything on there, you know, make everything just, safe. Yep, going to go over it, nut and bolt everything. Just make sure that every, nothing is moved, nothing has loosened up and uh, just make it safe. Some people have asked a couple of questions. Since, Al, since Al's working, I figured we'd go like that and let him work and ask him on there. One of the questions is, you've talked about how you used to dirt track race. Would you ever go back to circle track racing? That's a tough one. Um, I would like to, but <clears throat> honestly, this takes so much of my time. I just don't have time to do it. And the second thing is, the reason why I don't have time to do it is because I'm tired of people crashing into you and then uh, trying to blame you for the crash and then you got to sit there and work for the next seven days trying to get your car back together so um real american gaming says i don't totally understand tires but what's the advantage of running radials over slicks in eighth mile well there is some to the tires there is some truth to the tires a radial tire does not go out of round okay because it's got the steel belts on it whereas a bias by tire will actually if you watch any top fuel stuff, it'll actually go out of round and have more chance to go into tire shake than what a radial will ever do. Um, so two of, two of them that came in that are kind of my one of, that I like on there, or this one of them is someone asked, who has more wins, Al or Greg? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> actually, Greg does. Greg does. I don't think so because you have more dirt track wins. Okay. okay. If you're talking about I, uh, overall wins overall, just in everything, I do. I and think drag racing. Does, Greg I think does. I have more wins for drag racing, 
Um, but, but then again, I had 14 years of dirt track racing there also. Yep. So, so there, he has some different wins. Like uh, he, I, th I had to have been right about, I was probably about 14 where uh, he took and went out and he won like a, the super stock um, special at Brainerd here for North Central Speedway. And then the next white went up to a super stock uh, uh, special up in Bemidji and then he won that one too. So that was like two in a row that was really cool to win like your class special and everything like that. Um, I haven't had any like huge special wins, but um, you know, like special event wins, but they're coming, they're coming, you know, they're but coming. yeah, no, that's pretty, I would say it's probably really close for, for wins on there. I like that. But I have the only championship as a driver. He obviously has championship being the, you know, car owner and crew chief too, but. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I have more wins strictly because I'm older. And I've longer. had more, I've had more chances to get wins. Yep. And so we also would run, we'd run 60, you know, between 40 and 60 shows a year yep. on dirt track. And we get out for 12 to 14 on a, on the, the drag race. So he had a lot more chances to win too. Yep, I did. Al, what are you doing to the front end? I am sent. I am actually setting front end travel. Okay. And what I'm trying to do is get to a specific spot where it'll transfer weight to the rear end, but won't lift the front end off the ground and go into a power wheelie. So is this going to be different than what we had down in Georgia? Yes. Okay. And. <clears throat> Are, are you willing to say, are you giving it more or less for this or do you not want to say that? No, I can say. Uh, real simply, because the track is not going to be prepped as it was in Georgia, uh, we aren't going to have as sticky of a track. It's going to be a marginal track. Uh, I'm giving it a little bit more front end travel than what we had in Georgia. Okay. Uh, they'll just help promote weight transfer and uh, get it down the track. Get it down the track. Cool. Okay, everyone, we are we're pretty much ready. Uh, it's kind of anticlimactic uh, switching over to radials uh, once you have the kind of the setup kind of figured out and we have different wheels, tires, everything like that. So it's just literally swapping parts off. Um, we have a 370 rear gear in this and that's what we we're using for quarter mile. So with the big tires and everything on there, it was enough. So when we go back to big tires for eighth mile, which we will do after this event, you'll see us change gears as well. And we will be running a 430 gear on that. Um, make sure you hit the uh, store, check out the link below in the description, uh, the YouTube description or right here, badinfluencegarage.com. Uh, you can get all of the, our hats, shirts, decals or like that. Until next time guys, be safe.